Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with a, a little paw. Um, again, going back in time when I was using these Montmartre pre-made pouring paints. Um, yeah, they're pre-made. You do absolutely nothing else to them but um, just paint with them. You can water them down if you choose to, if you think they're a little bit too thick, because they are quite thick. So you can put them into a container, you know, your cup and add a bit of water to them. And um, it makes them spread a bit further, but I'm just gonna use them directly from the bottle. I got these from the online supplier at Capriol Shabby Chic, the link is underneath. Um, and I'm going to have a little play with them and do what I used to do with them to make a um, a very colourful starry night. You'll see as I go through that I do show you each of the colours that I'm using. So I'll just jump in where I feel I need to and, and let you enjoy the rest of this video. So I layered all my colours as you've seen um, and as you can see now as I'm trying to tilt it it's quite a very thick consistency. Um, this paint when it does dry dries very glossy so you would probably definitely not even have to um, coat it with a gloss because it dries very glossy. And as you can see, the big white blob there needs removing, but um, never fear, it will come out in a, in a few moments. 
But yes, look how slowly this paint is traveling to try and stretch it. So, but I just work with it and um, yeah, get it to cover the whole of the canvas and um, slide over the whole lot. So you've got your canvas colored and, and a bit, you know, to sort of let the colors ride over one another after doing my wiggles, 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 wiggles art all over my canvas. I love doing that particular technique. I think my first videos out were the exact same uh, thing. So I'm going to just remove that gooba that's sitting there just with a pair of tweezers and get it out. It doesn't, oh, it's a bit of skin, I think, that came off the top of the paint, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. So yeah, it's taken a very long time to tilt this around. So here we are, the piece is now back on my uh, baking tray <laughs> that I'm using on this particular canvas. And I've got the black and I am now going to, I've just put a separate bit of that in that cup. And I'm gonna add some of that Boom Booster, which is from the Boom Gel Paints people. It's Boom Booster. I think it is some kind of mixture of, it's definitely not silicone. It looks, I think it's a little bit of, it's got some kind of alcohol base in it, I believe. But it usually gives these really lovely kind of um, champagne cells in there. And instead of big blobby cells or, you know, big cells, uh, it gives these really tiny little pinhead champagne cells I like to call them and I, I just really um, it's been a long time since I did this style so I thought have another go go back sometimes and do some things that you haven't done in a while so that's what I'm doing here I'm using the uh, uh, plastic soft plastic file divider it's the best little swipe tool I find because you can just rewash it um, and use it like a trillion times so it's a really good little tool and as you see just taking your swipe nice and slow just relax and um, just enjoy the process no hurry I did um, miss a few little bits there but no worries you can either just leave them or you can as I'm gonna do here just try and trace back over them to fill them in and um, yeah, no cells are coming up at this point, but once I get my trusty heat wand, Yes, as you can see, the um, going over with the heat gun, my wonder wand. Um, I use this heat gun instead of a butane torch, so much safer. So yeah, it's bringing up this little tiny champagne cells. But what's exciting to me is that I know that all that color is under there for me to actually go in and embellish and, and make that come to life again as a kind of a starry night theme on this one. Starry night of fantasy and whimsical effects, so.
As you can see, I've been having a great old time with my balloon. Um, I didn't let this dry off before I started ballooning because the paint seems, uh, these pre-made pouring paints, the Montmartre pre-made pouring paints are very kind of thick consistency. So they seem to really hold the shape when you're pressing your balloon in. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get a fantas uh, yeah, fantasy effect in there and my starry night. So I went to town, didn't I? <laughs> so I just remember now like how much fun this was to do um, with those different consistency paints. It just looks completely different than when I balloon kiss, um, you know, making up the paints myself. So yeah, very happy with this one. But what I did off camera was I came along in that dark spot there and kind of pressed a piece of card in to act like, uh, to kind of create a skyline, um, which you'll see the photos at the end. And it kind of looked like either um, uh, Northern Lights or a city skylight of skyline effect, you'll see. But I know that you'll ask me, where did that come? Because I didn't see you do it. So, hope you enjoyed this, my lovely people. And I will definitely see you tomorrow. Um, so please, um, yeah, come join me. And there you go. I don't know. It doesn't actually look like a city skyline, does it? It looks like trees. So more like northern light effects. But it was fun to do. And I just love this cute little... Um, piece of art so for now cheerio